these are considered some of the heaviest flying birds alive today, though they don't often fly. Cory bustards reach sizes over 40 pounds in weight and 4 feet tall in males, with females maxing out at about half that size. For reference, that's about the same height as an 8-year-old human child and less than 20 pounds lighter. And these birds can fly, though like we mentioned, this isn't a typical occurrence. Cory bustards spend most of their time in wide open grasslands and lightly wooded savannas and scrublands. They normally get around by walking, however they will fly if they're startled by predators. Luckily for these big birds, they have friends in high places. Cory bustards may be alerted to predators via their mutualistic relationship with bee eaters. Bee eaters are another type of bird who commonly sit on the cory bustards' backs and eat the food the bustards stir up while walking. If these bee eaters sense a nearby predator, they'll let out a call to warn the cory bustard of the danger. Predators to cory bustards include lions, leopards, and other wild cats, as well as jackals and birds of prey. When faced with a predator, they'll puff up their feathers to look more intimidating and try to bluff their way out of an encounter. If this doesn't work, they'll take to the skies, though never for long periods of time. Cory bustards themselves are omnivores, eating animals like insects, rodents, lizards, and more, as well as plants like berries and seeds. They may live alone, in small groups or larger flocks, though they tend to come together for the breeding season. These birds live in Africa, but in a fragmented range. Those living more north have an offset breeding season to those living further south. Male cory bustards gather together in mating display groups called leks. They'll puff up their feathers and dance for the ladies. Once a male has enticed a female, they'll mate for mere seconds, and then the male returns to displaying in order to mate with other females. Lady cory bustards are left to make nests, which are just shallow scrapes in the ground, incubate eggs, and raise chicks on their own. Typically, two eggs are laid and incubated for just under a month. The babies are able to fly within five months, but remain with their mother until the following year. These birds reach sexual maturity between two and five years of age. Cory bustards don't have the gland found in many other bird species used for preening. So, instead, they take dust baths to clean themselves off. Another odd trait about these birds when compared to other birds is that they actually drink water via a sucking motion something almost entirely absent in other bird species, who instead drink water via a scooping motion. Pigeons are some other water-sucking birds. Anthropogenic or human-related threats to cory bustards include habitat loss and run-ins with power lines. Currently, it's not known how long cory bustards live in the wild, but these birds have lived past 25 years of age in captivity. For more facts on cory bustards, check out the links in the description. Thank you to Atrocious Allosaurus for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.